guys, this is Larry again. Today we're going to start working on a project made out of driftwood that I found from a dried up pond that is at the place that I work at. But I grabbed a few pieces of the wood because I've got a few ideas, but here it goes. Okay, this is the wood. I didn't want to bore you guys with hearing the sander, watching me sand this, but it's just a piece of, piece of driftwood, maybe 20, 22 inches long. It's been sanded with 100 grit, 120 and 180. And it's pretty, pretty smooth. Now we're getting ready to just put a little bit of the, the wax and the clear stain on it, just to give it a more natural look. We're just gonna put some Brie wax on it. It's got a natural finish to it. So we're just gonna put that on there. It's made with beeswax, some other stuff, but it, it'll give it a nice, nice look to it. Here's the finished product after we've applied and polished the Brie wax. Not too bad, considering it started out looking like some of that right there. Not too shabby. Hey guys, this is a template of what my driftwood signs are going to be like. It'll be something similar to that, just different color, barn lumber, just set up to look like old pieces of driftwood. Okay, here we got an old piece of barn lumber that I found and I had laying around. So we're gonna saw that up into maybe 18 to 20 inch pieces so we can get to work on the project. Okay, we've got our wood planks cut out now in just various shapes. Now we're gonna take a jigsaw and just go around some of the edges of them and just round them up a little bit, maybe jagged them up, stuff like that to make them look like they just come out of the water. Now, as you can see, I rounded them off with the jigsaw, just cut little odd shapes in the ends. And now they look a little bit better. Once we use the sander, maybe a wire wheel, they'll go a little bit farther than, than what they are now. I'm gonna take my grinder with the wire wheel and I'm gonna go and just make little odd, odd shapes all around the ends of all my wood then we can move on. So now we've got our board ends all buzzed down. Once they get painted, they'll look quite a bit different, especially when when we burnish some of the, the paint off the fronts, stuff like that, and they get they get some letters on them. But that'll be my my wife's category, probably, most likely. She paints everything. But on the top, you could either go with a smaller board or you could go with, with a bigger board on the top just to, just to make it a little bit more beefy, depending on how much room you got. I think we'll go ahead and go with the smaller one, but I've got a, a ton of these, so you know we can always find something to do with them. If not, we can burn them in the fire pit and drink some now beer. We've got everything we, we, the way we want it. We're going to mark some holes and start drilling them, and then start putting it together with the the trusty twine. Okay, with all the holes drilled, we started to stagger a few of these just to give it the the old, I guess, country beach type look. So now we're gonna start twining them together. Okay, all the twine is looped through the holes and, and tied off and it, looks pretty damn good looks pretty close to the drawing but I'm not really an artist so it doesn't really take much to look like that but this is pretty good it looked good once it gets painted and the letters get put on it so we'll see what it looks like at the next step okay guys here's the final project after it got painted I didn't wait for my wife to finish painting it so I went ahead and took over and this is what I come up with so if you like just hit the thumbs up in the bottom and please subscribe for more great videos from Backyard Customs